Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. When you receive funds from customers through the Receive Payments window and place the funds into the Undeposited Funds Asset account, QuickBooks tracks that money until it is actually deposited at the bank. Later on, when you are ready to take your payments to the bank, you can record the deposit in QuickBooks and group the various payments that you have received and placed into the undeposited funds account into a single lump amount that can be shown as being deposited into your selected bank account. This makes the amounts recorded as deposits for the bank account match the actual amounts recorded by your bank statements, which makes account reconciliation much easier. Also, when you're preparing the funds for deposit in QuickBooks, you can print a deposit slip to bring with you to the bank if needed, and then make the deposit at the bank. Note that when you record the deposit within QuickBooks, it takes the deposited funds and adds it to your selected bank account register. You can also tell it to leave out a certain amount for cash back if needed that you can then record to an account like Petty Cash. To make a deposit in QuickBooks, select Banking from the menu bar and then choose the Make Deposits command. This will most often then cause the Payments to Deposit window to appear on screen. In the Payments to Deposit window, you can see all of the customer payments that you have received through the Receive Payments window and elected to move to the Undeposited Funds account. You can use the View Payment Method type drop-down at the top of this window to select the type of payments to view if needed. You must then check any received amounts that you will actually be taking to the bank to deposit. Now once you've made your selections, click the OK button to continue to the actual Make Deposits window. In this window, you will see the amounts that you just selected shown in a listing. You can use the Deposit To drop-down that appears at the top of the window to select the name of the bank account into which you would like to deposit the selected funds. Enter the date of the actual deposit into the Date field, and if necessary, you can click into the next available blank row within the deposit listing to record any other miscellaneous amounts that are to be deposited, such as owner's contributions, for example. Now, if you need to get cash back from the deposit, then use the Cash Goes Back to drop-down at the bottom of the window to select the account used to record cash back, such as Petty Cash. Then enter the reason why cash was held back into the Cash Back Memo field. You can then enter the amount of cash to be held back from the deposit by recording that into the Cash Back Amount field. If you want to print a deposit slip or a deposit summary to take with you to the bank, Click the drop-down arrow to the right of the Print button within the toolbar at the top of the window. Then select either Deposit Slip or Deposit Summary from the drop-down menu that appears. You can then print the selected form within the Print dialog box that appears to take with you to the bank. Once you are ready to record the deposit amount, click the Save and Close button to save and close the Make Deposits window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.